hey you guys welcome back to my channel here's another watch me work video this is three weeks since the client has been with me so we're gonna start off by removing the old gel polish and I am using a coarse safety nail bit and this is sped up so it looks more aggressive than it is um, and this is the hard gel client so we're just gonna be removing everything prepping the nail and doing a fill or a rebalance as some will call um, and then here we're just trimming down since she does go three weeks her nails grow pretty quickly so she likes to trim down whenever she comes in for a fill so I'm just gonna let you guys watch that and I'll be back on the next step
Soundstripe. that you want to be as flushed as possible to the natural nail because this can cause dents. Coming in with my cuticle nippers, which totally sucked. I replaced these. It was so hard to trim any cuticle that she had. But we made it work and we cleaned it up nicely. And make sure that you guys are not getting any live skin. You want to make sure that you're just getting any cuticle that's hanging. You don't want to actually cause any damage. So this client on her left hand does have a grainy on her index finger. It's nothing to be alarmed, nothing major. It's just that water got trapped in between the nail enhancement and her natural nail and it clears up on its own or grows out. Um, in her case, she had lifting at one point and it just caused um, a greenie. So now we're coming in with our hand file, which is a 100-180 grit. And we're just coming in and reshaping the nail.
alcohol and cleaning off any excess dust. Sunset Builder Gel and um, it is a soak off so you can soak them off but you want to like file as much possible and then you can soak them off so here I'm coming in with a thin layer of sunset and I go ahead and use that as my base and I'm gonna do this on all the nails I like to create a base layer so that when building up the nail, gel sticks to gel. So you want to have a base layer so that once you build with your bigger beads, it'll adhere to the other gel. You don't want to apply it too thick because it may not adhere thoroughly and cause the So I'm just coming in with a really thin layer on each of the nails. I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. towards the back because that's where it's grown out. 
and I'm just gonna work that beat down and you see that I'm trying to build my apex to give it strength so I go back and forth back and forth on each nail and I have them cure for 60 seconds so while one is curing I'm working on the other hand just to be more efficient and here obviously I didn't have anything I'm pretty much finished the both at the same time so here again we're coming in with the slip layer so the gel is working coming in with my bigger beads towards the back and I'm just like pillowing it back and forth and spreading it out downwards because the majority of the product that I need is going to be for the fill and the ink because you know, the removal of the gel polish we didn't remove too much product and I'm going to go around the cuticle and underneath the nails and I am using my Koopa Manny Passport um, in white I will say that I really do like this, this is my first fill. I, I did have issues with it um, like six months into having it um, with the hand piece I guess the cord like I would have to use the cord a certain way if not it wouldn't work so I had to buy another one a backup while I had it repaired um, 
and the cord that I got with it is different and much better it doesn't tangle as much but other than that I haven't had any problems with it it works really well it's chargeable um, so and you can't use it while it's charging so you have to charge it and honestly I get a lot of battery life out of it like I hardly charge it ever because I always forget but it's really good and most bits do fit, fit with the hand piece. So I'm gonna be coming in with the same sand band that I used for the natural nail and that's pretty much what I use to remove any bulk on the hard gels because it's so soft. It's not as harsh as acrylic. You don't really need you can come in with a like a medium core safety bit, but I normally just come in with the sanding band because you don't really need too much to remove the bulk. Soundstripe. Soundstripe. So again, we just spray some alcohol and we just gonna remove any excess dust and get ready for polish. So she decided she was gonna go with orange, which I love. OPI's summer love and having a blast. And for some reason, I thought I recorded the first coat, but I guess not. So here we are applying the second coat. Now, when applying OPI, whether on the natural nail or on an enhancement such as acrylic or hard gel, you want to use a base layer. So I use Kira Sky's base gel polish because I have found that if you use OPI without a base layer, it will peel off. So I learned that the hard way. Um, most other brands that I use, such as DMV or Le Chat, Kira Sky, I don't have to use a base layer, but with OPI, I do. So make sure that you're using a base layer when it comes to OPI. I don't know if anyone else having issues with that before, but definitely use a base layer in the lab.
see more of, please give it a thumbs up.